What's up guys, Hussam is here. Today we are going to talk about how to get a residence permit in the beautiful country of Georgia. I'm going to cover all of the kind of residence permit and I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. So if you are interested in this topic, see you in a second. Well, let's start by telling you the place where you need to submit the papers, the requested paper to get a residence permit. And it is the House of Justice of Georgia. Everyone knows this place and it's easy to reach it in the, even anywhere in any city in Georgia. In the big cities, Tbilisi, Batumi or Kutaisi or any different other cities, there is a public service hall, which is a place where you can do all of the matters related to residence permit, uh, registering paper, starting business, whatever. After that, you need to know what is the reason that you need a residence permit for. Is it because you want to work here, you want to study, you want to invest, you want to get, buy a property, or you want to get married? Each type of these four reasons has a special type of residence permit. So I'm going now to cover each one of them and I'm going to tell you what is the paper you need to apply for each one and how to do it and what is the cost. So follow the video. Let's start by getting a residence permit because of work. Let's say you need to do work here or you have a job to do here and you need this residence permit to work. The papers you need to submit in House of Justice for this reason is your passport notarized and translated into Georgian from any notary office. So this is the first paper you need. The second paper is a work contract, a labor contract with any Georgian company. You need to clarify in this work contract the salary, your salary, your monthly salary, salary and the terms of the contract. The third papers you need. You need to get an application to apply for residence permit. And you need to clarify in this application your name, your nationality, your phone number, and if you have detained because of criminal uh, uh, activity before in your country or anywhere else, you need to put down all of this information in this paper. Where do you get this application? From the House of Justice. So you can go to the House of Justice, take a ticket from the reception to Area 15 and get this application and start to write your information in English. It's not necessary to be in Georgian in this case. When you apply, you need to select exactly when do you need to get the result of this uh, application. If the government accepted to grant you the residence permit or they refused. You can choose, is it after 10 days, and this is the fastest one after 10 days, in this case, you need to pay in House of Justice 410 lari and or or for 20 after 20 days. In this case, you need to pay 310 or after 30 days. In this case, you need to pay 210 lari. You need to be careful when you apply for this working permit because you need 45 days uh, in your left in your staying here. You need to apply before 30, 45 days from your staying here. Like if you get to the airport, you get a stamp. So you need to check how many days you still have here in Georgia before you apply for this work permit, residence permit. It need, you need to have at least 45 days. For some nationalities, the government might ask you to bring a criminal record uh, certified from your country. 
translated into Georgian and certified from your country. The term of this residence permit is starting from six months to five years. Starting from six months up to five years. So it, it depends on your in the term of your work contract. Also, it depends on the or immigration decision. The second type of residence permit is a short-term residence permit, which you get when you buy a property in Georgia for $35,000 or more. So when you buy this property, you can apply for this type of residence permit, which is called sh short-term residence permit. And you get it for the first time from six months to one year and then when you renew it you can get up to five years just be careful with this type of residence permit because it's related to the property it's valid as long as you still own the property if you sell the property it will be cancelled so it's related to the property be careful with that and the procedures to apply for residence permit for this kind of residence permit are the same as the other procedures you need the same requested paper plus in addition to the ownership papers sakartvelo cheni lamazia sakartvelo this is the only words I know in Georgian. Sakartvelo la mazia. Mecha mechwar har. Mecha mechwar har sakartvelo. The third type of residence permit is getting residence permit because of investment that you invested more than 300,000 gel. Georgian Larry. To apply for this kind of residence permit, you need to prove to the government, to the immigration department, that you spent more than 300,000 gel to get this investment residence permit. And the procedures are the same. You just need to prove to the government to add some paper to prove to the government that you invested already this money more than 300,000 gel. Let's get back to the street. The fourth re residence permit type is because of studying purpose. If you are going to study here in any university which has a high quality, high quality, which has a high quality education, you can apply for residence permit because of this reason. And you need to get the acceptance of the Ministry of Education of Georgia to apply for this residence permit. And the duration of processing your papers for this type of residence permit is the same as the work permit. It could be 10 days, it could be 20 days, it could be 30 days. And the same expenses, the same cost to get this residence permit. The last type of residence permit is the permanent resident permit and you can apply for this type of residence permit after getting married to a Georgian girl or boy if you are a boy or if you are a girl so you can apply directly for this type of residence permit when you get married and it's permanent so that mean, that means it's valid but it's valid forever, but it's related to the marriage. If you divorce, you might lose your permanent residence permit. You should be married forever as long as you want to have this, as long as you want to have this residence permit. The second way you can get a permanent residence permit is after spending more than six years in the country with a temporary residence permit. You can apply for permanent residence permit after six years. And the duration of this residence permit forever, as I said, but when you apply, you can apply 
for 10 days and get the result after 10 days or 20 or 30 days the same as working permit papers and you need to fill the same application you need to write down all of the, your information in the same application as the working residence permit i am back home in the next couple of minutes i'm going to tell you some tips and advices what to do exactly to increase the possibilities that your application your residence permit application going to get accepted i'm going to leave you now with a very nice view from my balcony to the sunset from the beautiful Tbilisi, Georgia. See you after a couple of seconds. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, indeed. Now let's talk about the tips and the advices. If you are applying for a residence permit because of work, you have a work contract, a labor contract, you have to make sure of what I'm going to tell you now. First thing, first tip, you have to make sure that your salary in the contract at least equivalent to $500 per month. It should be in Larry, in Georgian Larry, but it should be equivalent to $500, not less than that. That will tell the government, the immigration department, that you are already going to work and have sufficient money for your life, for your living here. So it should be at least 500 gel. The second tip, you should make sure that the company which gives you the contract the labor contract is a real company it's working from long time and it's already in business for long time <clears throat> it's real it has accountants and it's working already not just a registered company which has no profile in revenue services or in any other official organization the third tip you have to make sure if you are applying with your company as a director in your company that you started to do something already in the real life, in the reality. If you are, for example, if you are opening a tourism company, you should show the government that you started already to rent a place for your business to be your office and your legal address. You started already to buy some uh, to buy some uh, equipment, some tools for your, for your business extra. So it should be real. You should show them that you started already to do something. If you did that, that will increase the possibilities that your application get accepted. If you bought a property and you are applying for residence permit, as I told you before, it should be at least more than 35000 USD dollar. When you go to buy a property for this purpose, you have to make sure that the property is more than this price, a bit more. Don't buy a property with equivalent only with only thirty-five thousand dollars because you will have an expert. The government will ha hire an expert to evaluate your property. Uh, this expert might value your uh, property less than 35,000 or less than its real price with one two thousand dollar so you have to make sure that the property price is, uh, is more than 35,000 dollars with four five six thousand dollars at least if you are applying for a permanent residence permit that you get married to a Georgian girl or guy if you are a girl so you should make sure that this marriage is real it's already real you didn't get only marriage because you want a residence permit because the government will investigate if your marriage is not real you are going to get rejected your application your residence permit application going to get rejected so make sure this marriage is real and it should be real don't do this shit now 
I'm going to tell you something. If you are wondering how to start a business in Georgia, you should watch this video up there. I said everything related to business, how to register a company in Georgia, how to start your business. Or if you want to rent a property in Georgia, I'm going to tell you in this video up there what exactly do you have to do. Or if you are wondering about Georgian people, Georgian society, the traditions and the habits and the culture, you should watch this in conversation between me and my friend a couple of days ago. And it's a long conversation, but I'm sure that you are going to get some new information. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to follow all of my new videos. You are going to get a lot of information about business and traveling. And I wish you enjoyed this video. So see you in the next video.